I am shocked that we are hearing after already being told that we're going to have multiple other MCU characters appear in Thor Love and Thunder, that we are shocked that they are once again saying that we're going to have other characters appear in Thor Love and Thunder. So Tessa Thompson herself, who previously was the one to spoil to us that yes, Christian Bale has joined Thor Love and Thunder, she spoiled that so long ago, it feels like it was another lifetime, is once again at it. She's talking about her next project, which is obviously the fourth Thor film, and she's been hyping that up and dropping a few hints here or there during different interviews and talking about what fans can expect, why fans should be excited, and the obvious direction of the MCU going forward after the events of the last big film, meaning Avengers Endgame. And she goes on and talks about the fact that we're going to see her character once again return, which isn't really new, as she's the new king of the new Asgard that they've established. But also she mentions, and I quote, some folks potentially from other pockets of the MCU are going to be joining, including characters that have never been seen before. So let me take a stab at it and say that the characters that have never been seen before are probably the likes of Gore the God Butcher, uh, Lady Thor, as people are calling her, or just Thor, Jane Foster as Thor, that's what I mean, that's sort of the breakdown there. And I would assume maybe a couple more characters, because you always got to add more new characters. Now, the interesting one is she mentions other characters from other pockets of the MCU. Now, I think many people are very well aware that Gore the God Butcher does have a relation to the symbiotes. Maybe they could do something with that, since in some sort of weird way, everything Spider-Man and Sony is now connected to the MCU. I mean, who knows, because... You know, let's be real, who knows if they'll be able to work something like that out. But Gore does have that weird, strange, cool sword. You can kind of um fit the whole symbiote thing in there. On the other hand, the Guardians are the obvious one. I think that much is uh, well known. Those characters, at least a bunch of them are going to appear. Maybe you could do something like War Machine or something. I'm, I mean, again, I don't know because there's so many characters and whatever you do, you know, there's uh, plenty of room. Captain Marvel, why not, you know? There's so much you can do with this film and its galactic scale that I really wouldn't be surprised. Hell, I won't be surprised if an Eternal or two shows up just because. Being like, D dude, we're Eternals. We're literally alive forever. Like... Now we're part of the MCU, hey, it's Kumail Nanjiani, look at me, my sick ripped abs, possibly if he's still in that shape, I haven't seen pictures of him since that time, but you get what I'm saying, right, I think this is kind of a expected and the uh, way of the future. So who do you guys think she's teasing? Do you think they could go all out, be like, yeah, multiverse is broken, here's... Here's Venom and all that symbio mumbo jumbo, we'll just toss it in here. Or are they going to be more conservative, just be like, here's... Um, who's that duck character? Why am I blanking on his name? Um, Howard the Duck. Here's Howard the Duck. 